waves are caused by a moving object making the air vibrate. Sound waves travel to your eardrum and make it vibrate. When the eardrum vibrates, it makes a tiny bone called the hammer hit another tiny bone called the anvil. That vibration is sent to your brain as an electrical signal. The brain recognises that signal as a sound. Oh, I feel dizzy! Oh, that's great. I was just reading about the ear. Did you ever wonder why you feel dizzy after shutting your eyes? The fluid in your ear is moving while you move, but when you stop, the fluid in your ear is still moving for a while. It sends a message to your brain saying that you're still moving, even though you're not. That's interesting. Sound needs air to travel. There is no air in space, so there is no sound in space. If you didn't have a space suit, you would not even be able to hear yourself shout. Why are you two lying on the ground like that? Shh, we're listening. Didn't you know? Sound travels faster through solid objects than air. No, I did not know that. And the enemies are coming. And they're on horses, so we better go quick. Sound waves make the air vibrate. When the sound waves hit the cling film, the cling film vibrates. Bats use echolocation to help them find their way around in the dark. They make high pitched sounds that humans can't hear. And when these sound waves hit an object, an echo bounces back. The bat collects the echo with its ears and can tell what the object is by the sound of the echo. The speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. Sometimes when a footballer kicks a ball far away from us, we see the football being kicked before we hear the thud. During a storm, we always see lightning before we hear thunder. If you count the number of seconds between seeing the lightning and hearing the thunder and divide that by three, you can get a good estimate of how many kilometers away the storm is.